Let's cook some shit. Let's get the dead cow out and start cooking his dead ass. Damn, that is still mad frozen. Oh, well, we're going to cook it anyway. I've always heard that you shouldn't, like, cook meat that wasn't thawed out. But I've been doing it my whole life, and to be quite honest you, I don't see the problem with it. I'm sure somebody will be like, it can get you sick. Yeah, maybe if you're, uh, maybe if your stomach's attached to a pussy, but mine's not. So, we're, uh, yeah, it'll be all right. Well, that was a quiet one. It's also like <coughs> seven in the morning. No, I don't even want to be awake right now, but I woke up because I was hungry. So. Yeah, we'll get this all cooked up, no problem, man. No problem. There we go. Get cooked. Cooked up a stone. So really, I put this in uh, the refrigerator overnight thinking that it would thaw. It did not. It's not even close to thawing. Still pretty hard. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is, you know? We're just gonna work with what we got here, which is 
frozen ass meat. So if you're watching this in uh, like France or something, this ain't really how they make tacos. I don't even know if they eat tacos in Spain. You're right next to, you know, Spain's right next to France. I'm sure they probably eat something similar to it. They might not call it a taco. Hey Google, do they eat tacos in France? On the website English.alpines.com, they say, the French taco shares little more than a name with the Mexican version. It originated in Lyon or in Grenoble, according to some theories, and consists of a wheat tortilla in which are wrapped all manner of food stuff, meat, salad, chips, and cheese sauce. Alright, so these are going to be more like... French tacos, more than they are like Mexican tacos. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know French tacos were a thing until just now. So. So we don't have wheat tacos, or wheat tortillas. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kind of gross. I know some places make uh, like tortillas and pancakes and shit out of potatoes. Doesn't, doesn't sound too bad. It sounds like a lot of starch, but I mean, we're about to have corn tortillas. There's a lot of starch in that, so. Hurry up, dead cow. Jesus Christ. No, we ain't got all day. I cooked pretty fast, surprisingly, even though it's frozen. <coughs> Let's season up this dead cow. I'm gonna season it up with some of this. Alright, how do we make this shit? Two and three quarter cups water and a cup of milk. Alright, no problem. In case y'all didn't know, a 16 ounce bottle of water is two cups. Um, learned that from a man, Skyler. Skyler, you a goddamn genius, man. And uh, how much milk? Oh, we need some. Uh, Here, we'll just try this a little bit. Yeah, this is about two and three quarter cups of water. And uh, how much milk? Cup of milk. That's probably enough. All right, let's put this dead cow assistant in here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll snap. Oh, it goes in here. This is in here. Price.
All right, now we just gotta wait for this malarkey to reduce. Or, as some French chef would say, now we will reduce the dead policies. You better be careful with that. I ain't took my morning dump yet and uh, do some stupid shit and shit my pants on, on camera. Even if I did shit my pants on camera, I still put it on YouTube. Hope somebody get a laugh out of it. Because that would be funny. Not for me, but for you. Alright, well, we're just going to wait on that. Does rice grow on, you don't think, hey, Google, does, does rice grow in Mexico? On the website mordorintelligence.com, they say, Sinaloa, Campeche, and Veracruz are the major rice producing states in Mexico, with more than 20% of the production share. Yeah, hey, that's why they eat so much rice in Mexico. Rice don't grow here, it's too damn dry. We ain't, we ain't got enough. <coughs> Yesterday was my birthday. I'm 32 years old. Believe it or not. I was born, um, let's see here, what's 24? 24 minus 32, uh, like 19, uh, 1992 or something, 1988, 1988, I was born in 1988, if anybody wants to steal, use that information to steal my identity, do me a solid one, and after you steal it, with all the money that you steal with my identity, please, uh, Pay off my uh, child support and the money I owe to the IRS. I also have some warrants that you can take care of. That would, that would be much appreciated. After that, you can have my identity. I don't need it. Seriously though, I feel bad for the person. If y'all ever steal my identity, you're in trouble, cuz. 
I got I got problems. So we didn't kill this cow. This cow, uh, he came from Walmart. Somebody killed him. Wasn't me. Didn't feel like it. Killing cows is a lot of work, man. It's kind of hard to kill a cow. Unless you work at the uh, meat packing plant and you got the tools and stuff. got the cow trapped and stuff, you know. We don't do that. We just got cows in a field eating grass. These holes is cheese on a board. So I'm off, off for the winter, so here we are doing doing cooking shows again. I'm not gonna lie, I might be off permanently, I don't know. Kinda depends. Yeah. Had some real difficult people to work with this year. It's not too sure I'm interested in doing it again. Really sucked. It's not fun. Although some people I work with are, are really good people. They're, in fact, the overwhelming majority of people that I work with were just absolutely amazing people. Man, they really were. But. Chief Bolts mate Kevin Avert told me one time, it takes one bad apple to ruin the bunch. And uh, boy ever was he correct. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Ain't gonna hurt my feelings either way. So we'll see. Although I imagine some people got lied to about some things. Yeah, hey, man, you know, it is what it is, you know? They call me, I'll tell them my side of the story. But they probably won't, because they probably don't want to hear it anyway. So, and that's cool. I ain't worried about that. I'm here. I'm good. I still have a job, so it's not like... I'm a, I'm a contractor, so I, mean, I, I, I still have jobs. Just not that specific one that was really fucking cool. I guess I... We'll see. Make sure you keep on moving the dead cow assistant around because it'll stick to the bottom of the pan, start burning, and it just kind of, I'd say it doesn't taste right, but I'm not going to lie, I've never actually burnt this shit, unlike the chorizo that I cooked the other day. 
my house it still stinks like burnt trees though. My nephew coming. He's a cool dude. Really is, man. He's a real cool dude. I like him. <coughs> Maybe I'll try to get him to do a cooking video. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't even know if the dude can cook, but we'll try. We'll see. See what happens. Turn this off. It's good enough. In case you, uh, you didn't notice, I don't really time stuff. I don't really measure stuff too much either. You know, best bet is to just put a little bit in. You can always put more in, but it's hard to, you know, it's hard to take things out. That's one of the reasons I got kids, because it's hard to take things out. In all fairness, my kids are awesome, so I like my kids. I think some people hate their kids. I like mine. Mine are cool. They also live with their moms. I don't have to put up with them all the time. Keep stirring this shit till it cools off. It'll, it'll thicken up. Good job, dead cow assistant. Let's get rid of you. Dollar General lately because uh, it kind of sucks and there's never really anything that I need there so to microwave your corn tortillas otherwise they'll like break and stuff and it's not gonna work out the way you want it to so make sure you microwave them cook them put them on a little chingadera thing but yeah
put Kobe Jack on ours from Walmart. Great value. Not too sure about that, but you know. All right. Make our tacos. Yeehaw, that one's hot. And taco number three. We'll put a little bit more in that one because it just doesn't seem like there's a lot in there. Cheese. Put a little bit of cream on there because I like it. I like it a lot. Not too much though. Last but not least, what goes on top of y'all? Gotta get the tap. Also, this shit is way better than Tabasco. I don't even know how Tabasco stays in business. That shit's disgusting, man. <coughs> Gross. <coughs> Here you go. Beef assistant, tacos, French, Mexican fusion with a thick load all over them.